Dean Davidson, Storm Search LLC, lead forecaster, meteorologist, and severe weather specialist for liveweatherblogs.com. Time for a look at severe weather potential, which we're going to see tomorrow. On the day on Wednesday, we're going to have severe weather possibly anywhere from parts of Philadelphia, southern New Jersey, back across to about Harrisburg, back down into Charlottesville, D.C., Baltimore, Roanoke, Lynchburg, Richmond, back through about Charleston, West Virginia. The potential is there for severe weather, high winds, and tornadoes. And the reason we might see tornadoes, I'll show you momentarily with the high shear that we're going to see. This is going to be low cape, high shear event again, because we're in that potential, you know, we're in March, which is a uh, time, March and September. September, October time for area. In this area is your low cave high shear events. We have high wind watch, which I'll show you in a minute back here through uh, the Roanoke Valley. As you can see here, you get some you know high cave, uh, high shear effects going on here in the areas in Virginia, and we're going to continue. Uh, it's going to continuously update. Uh, there's some more. You know, this is a high shear event, so. And when we take a look at the computer models, you'll see even more um, what's going on here and why we have that potential. We're going to look at a few things here. We got, this is Roanoke, you can see. Very conducive for severe weather. Change with the wind and height, very low at the at the lowest levels, and then high winds above that. And that's going to cause rotation. When you add the Blue Ridge Mountains, um, that also makes it um, potentially dangerous and change the wind with height. Very clear there. Um, pretty good LCO and SIN also, so, um, you know, the Cape, as you can see here, further north in, in uh, parts of Pennsylvania, it's pretty good, uh, no capping inversion, and high, and winds changing with the height, so this is also there, and uh, down towards the, the ocean, more damaging wind threat there um, than you would see. And here's another one, uh, the Baltimore area. Much like before, wind change with height can be serious. At the upper levels, and you can see this deep troughing going on and high shear here on the eastern coast. This is going to be potentially bad for uh, tornadoes here in Virginia. And then it'll push east as we go further along. You see how close the uh, gaps are between the isobars. Very strong winds from the south. Coming up, as you hear here, the low pressure is cranking up. Winds will come in from the southeast and then the west behind it. There will be a lot of potential for rotation here from southern New Jersey, like I said, back out through Virginia, Roanoke to Philly. Very good spot for in the east. It's a good spot for the possibility of tornadic development. Like I said as it pushes east, strong this year, pushes east further. So, very volatile day. Damaging wings is going to be the biggest threat. Tornadoes are definitely possible. No tornado outbreak, per se, but we have to watch for tornadoes. Stay tuned for further information from liveweatherblocks.com, Storm Surge LLC, Dean D. Davison. Have a great afternoon.